All right, well, TGIF and good Friday afternoon, everyone. Hopefully your Friday morning went well. William Cole here in the Storm Studios. Of course, we really want to take an in-depth look now at our weekend forecast. And for the most part, your weekend is going to turn out A-OK. -okay. Uh, could be some very slight shower chances we'll talk about. But again, temperatures trending below normal compared to where we have been as we went through most of this summer. I really think you're going to like this forecast going forward. So we're right up around 92, similar to yesterday. It will be a humid afternoon as well. You'll definitely feel the humidity as we go through the day. It's that 10% opportunity, similar to yesterday, of a stray shower around. But again, most of us, even on this finally Friday, we do remain completely dry. So these were the actual lows out the door this morning, some lower to mid 70s. It was a fairly comfortable morning. In fact, a few lucky locations even dipped down into the 60s. Uh, take a look at the buoy area down to 69, even back down through the Stephenville area, uh, down to 69 degrees nice this morning as well. Uh, Okay, so now this is the only one weather hiccup we have as we head into the afternoon. It is this air quality alert. Now this is going to be in effect for ozone. Uh, for a lot of folks, it really doesn't impact us, but there are some folks out there uh, when we have the higher levels of ozone, it causes real respiratory issues. So obviously you know that's you. If uh, you have those issues, do remember uh, to stay indoors today as much as possible. Otherwise, looking around the region, again here in North Texas, we're quiet. There have been a few showers over in the Piney Woods of Eastern Texas. Texas. Also down from the coastal bend over through the Houston area, a little unsettled, but most of that being offshore. And then as you look over towards the Big Easy, New Orleans, it's another day over there where they just continue to see copious amounts of rain. And believe it or not, it is actually the same storm system that came through here on Monday. It gave us our historic rain. Well, it's been stalled out down across parts of Louisiana as we've gone through the week. So they will reload and they will do another opportunity of heavy rain. Unfortunately, again, as we go through the day, that storm system is really only going to continue to meander off to the east. I'm watching a big storm trough off to the north. I know that's kind of sticking out there to you, uh, but believe it or not, what I'm really watching for this upcoming late weekend and the early parts of next week. It's all the way out in the Gulf of Alaska. You can see this area spin here. And again, every time we look at this, it's looking a little more impressive to me. So this is a storm trough, and this will be coming through for, again, the early parts of next week. It's not going to come into North Texas, but it's going to, you see it right there. It skims right along the northern tier of states. But as that happens, it's going to push an August cold front down into our area. And this will be by late weekend, but more so late Monday into Tuesday. And right now I'm really pinpointing Tuesday as a more likely opportunity of rain and storms in our area. Uh, some heavy rain could be possible. We'll talk about that, uh, but really beginning late on Sunday through most of next week, uh, the pattern does look pretty unsettled. And also, by the way, our temperatures next week will begin to trend back into the 80s. I'll show you that coming up. So just kind of a broad brush look here, an opportunity of rain. You can see through the weekend it's pretty spotty, but there it is as we get into next week, especially on Tuesday, we do begin to fill that in with darker greens and then even notice some of the blues showing up and some of those blues could be indicative of at least an opportunity of some heavier rain. Quick check of the model just running you through today. Again, if you look carefully, uh, there's one in our eastern county, a little blip is what I'm talking about. Uh, there's one in our southwestern county. Again, this is just a stray shower, nothing really major showing up whatsoever as we're talking about our Friday evening plans, Friday late night plans, Friday night football plans, everything looking fine. We're completely dry for that. And then as we go through tomorrow, Saturday, it's one more day. Again, you can see it. It's just that widely scattered. It's a 10% opportunity for any one hometown that you potentially see a widely scattered shower. But again, for most of us, we do remain completely dry. So 92, that's my forecast, the daytime high today. Nowhere near that 106 from back in 2011. And also, by the way, our coolest high ever on today's date is 77 back in 1947. We're obviously nowhere near that either. So lower to mid 90s for daytime highs, 92, 93. Those numbers will be fairly common. There's that 10 to 20 percent opportunity of a stray shower as we go through the day. Back down in the 70s, we're going to start our Saturday fairly nice. And then as we go through tomorrow, Saturday, we'll add one or two degrees onto our daytime highs, 92, 93, 94, 95. Those numbers will be fairly common around the area. So going forward in time, it's lower to mid 90s heading into the weekend. Again, it's a very low end 10% opportunity of a stray shower, but we do begin to build on those rain chances, culminating on Tuesday, again, pinpointing Tuesday, maybe some heavy rain around there. And then you can see as we go through a bulk of next week, look at those high temperatures. They're trending back down into the upper to even some mid 80s.